Today, the shout out goes to ASMR in something in Korean, Chinese, or Japanese. And I think you're very cute too. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be telling a story time for the first time ever. Because yesterday I posted a video because I haven't posted in a really long time. And I'm really, really super mega sorry about that. I just, it's because my cousin has come, but she left. Um, and she came from Mexico, and I'll post a, vi a video about that later on in the month. But I was thinking, I haven't posted a story time, and I have a story I want to tell. It's kind of embarrassing, but you will like it. So let's just go on, on with the story. I was in second grade, and I was seven, and I remember being seven because I thought I was so cool because I was so old and everyone else was like six. There was only two other people that were seven. But anyways, it was a Friday, and I went to a Catholic school, and I still do. It's the same school. And on Fridays, we go to church in second grade. And you know, the teacher says, everyone get ready, don't bring any toys so you can play or something. So you won't have to fidget around. And she's like, oh, everyone go to the bathroom, blow your nose, oh, bring some tissues, Johnny. And we're going to call my teacher Mrs. Kwan. Everyone go to the bathroom, and even if you don't have to go, just make sure you go. And everyone get go to the water fountain and get your drinks. And I'm like, hey, I don't have to go to the bathroom. I, I went to the bathroom before I left for, to go to school. So I'm like, oh, I don't have to go to the bathroom. So I just took a drink. The water fountain had cold water, so I'm just going to get a drink of cold water. And since it was cold water, and cold water is nice, warm water isn't. I took a long drink so I wouldn't have to be thirsty. I wouldn't have to get out, out of my seat from church and go to the to the to another water fountain that was in the area. So then we left. And then all of a sudden I had this urge like to pee. So then I asked Mrs. Kwan, can I go to the bathroom? She's like, no, it's about to start. So I just wait and I didn't have to go that, that bad. Then five minutes later, I asked Mrs. Kwan, can I go to the bathroom? She says, no, this church already started and I thought you went. And I said, no, I didn't. She said, wait a couple minutes. 10 minutes later, Mrs. Kwan, I really, really need to go to the bathroom. She's like, oh, just a couple more minutes, please. I need you to wait. Can you wait? And I said, sure, but I didn't really have, I, could, I couldn't really wait. Five minutes later, and it was 20 minutes altogether. Five, 10, five. 20. I couldn't hold it anymore. I drank so much water. I don't know. I went to the bathroom in the morning and I, I, it was like all gone. It was all gone. I wait. I, I, I waited on the, the toilet seat an extra couple minutes just in case because when I was in second grade on Friday, you went to church first so i thought i was gonna be fine but nope i wasn't fine so then all of a sudden i couldn't take it no more it's like your family that's about to die is right over there but there's lava right there and you can't get them so then pee just started going down my legs slowly but surely i have some dirty pants that i'm gonna show you so i have my gym uniform but i don't we had uniforms, but I'm not going to get it. So here's here's my, my legs. It went, I, I th you know, sometimes I, you think that things are going to go the way you want. Nope. I thought it was going to go one leg, both legs. Started going down my leg. It went down my legs and then onto my shoe. I don't have those shoes anymore to show you. I think I was like 13 or something back then. Here are your two feet and then your pants. It went down on the side of my shoe onto the floor. And there was a little puddle. It smelled like pee. I don't know how my classmates didn't smell the pee. Pee has a smell. So then after that happened, I started shaking in fear. I was going to be the laughing stock. I was going to be the class clown, but not in a good way. So then after, Mrs. Kwan just says, Natalie, you can go. In my mind, I said, I already went. So I run to the bathroom, but I wasn't running normal. I was running like a penguin. 
I don't know how she didn't notice the pea stain. I have navy blue pants. And navy blue pants are dark, so I thought, oh my gosh, you can't see it. But the navy blue pants went a little darker. Like, black dark. So I go to the bathroom. I, I make the pants inside out. I try with toilet paper, and I... I was like, oh, I'm, I'm in trouble. I'm going to be, I'm, everyone's going to laugh. They're going to find out that there was a puddle. Since they were inside out, I'm like, did I really do it? Are they dry? Because you couldn't tell. I make them back normal so I can slip them on happy. But it wasn't, it was still dark. It wasn't dark from the inside out. But I thought if I wore my pants inside out, she would be like, oh, go change your pants. But I can't. So then. I walk back to Mrs. Kwan. I look up to Mrs. Kwan. She looks to me. Mrs. Kwan? Yes? I went to the bathroom. Yes, you just told me you were going to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom in my pants. Yes, I know. You went to the bathroom in the tub. Wait, what? You went to the bathroom in your pants? Yes. Yes, I did. Oh, dear, honey. You're going to get suspended. Wait, what? Yes. You're going to have to get the new pants. Oh, it didn't really go like that. But, to make it more dramatic. So then she called another teacher to watch the class. Uh, yes, you, um, come over here. We have a, a situation. So then the other teacher watched the class. And I don't know what they did with the puddle, but they, the teacher must have saw it and wiped it up with some napkins, tissues, or toilet paper. Or they could have called the janitor. <sighs> I don't know. But Mrs. Kwan took me to the office, and then the office gave me new pants. But I had to take off my underwear, so I was just wearing pants. No underwear! Pants. And on Fridays, we went to gym. So, I couldn't run that well. The pants were a little big. And I had to make sure the pants were, n were not dirty, they didn't get scratched or anything. Or else I would have had to pay for it. But, as a kid, I scratched it. So then my mom had to pay for it. But at least I got new pants, because those pants smelled like pee. I, and then I'm like, wait, if my pants smell like pee, does my shoes? And my shoes smelled like pee. So then I got some black converse instead, and no one knew, unless I told them. So yeah, guys, I hope you liked my story time of the day I peed at school. Make sure to subscribe to become one of my brave dogs, and then hit the notification bell to become one of my hashtag notification squad. Literally every YouTuber has that squad. So you'll be on that squad, the famous YouTuber squad, the famous notification squad, the squad of the squads. When you're done doing that, make sure to leave that in the comments down below so then I can give you a shout out in my next video. All you have to say is I subscribed and I hit the notification bell. Then I think I'll see you in the next video. But yeah guys, peace, love. Bye bye and don't forget to subscribe It's Booper time, it's Booper time, yeah Just spin me round round baby round round baby round round Hey, I'm Mission Squad Hey guys it's now Delete Subscribe